an estimated 10 million Americans have osteoporosis. Millions more have low bone density. So how do you know if this includes you? Dr. Ben Bierke is a spine surgeon with Reno Orthopedic Clinic. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks for having me, Christian. Yeah, absolutely. First of all, talk about what is osteoporosis. So osteoporosis, very simply, is very low bone density. Okay. You may have heard of osteopenia, that's mm -hmm. a lesser form of it, but osteoporosis is the point where it gets dangerous, where patients are at risk for breaking bones from it. And who is at risk, primarily? Anyone, uh, generally, it increases incidence with age. Okay. Patients also, also with certain diseases, certain hormone imbalances, patients that take certain medications such as steroids. So it sounds like it's important to get checked and know your bone density. It is. So anyone after the age of 50 or postmenopausal women should get it checked out. Um, and you can get it checked out once every couple of years just to make sure it's not going up, going down, uh, and staying the same. So how do we check it? Is there a special test or is it pretty basic? Simple x-rays. Huh. So x-rays of both your hips, both your wrists, and your spine. Those numbers get averaged and compared to someone younger than you, and then it'll uh, calculate your risk of any kind of fracture. Okay, so how does that affect you as a spine surgeon? Is treatment different if someone has osteoporosis? There are a couple of operations we do specifically for osteoporosis. Ah. Sometimes we fill the spine with cement in order to prevent those things from breaking more. Uh, and also it, it affects the kinds of operations that I can offer patients. Patients with bone density that's too low won't actually hold some of the screws we use during spine surgery. I didn't even think about that. Okay, so bottom line, get tested when you know. Are there any supplements we should be taking, like right now? Vitamin D and calcium. Okay. So the, the very um, minimum amount that people should be taking is 1,000 milligrams of calcium, okay. 600 units of vitamin D, and that goes up for patients that are slightly older than that. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Lots of information. If you still have questions, you can give them a call at 858-2222. Thanks so much. Thanks again, Kristen.